Hello everyone and welcome back. Now I want to apologize if things sound a little bit different on the audio. I'm actually recording in a different room this time and if my dog has access to his toys, he will constantly try and get me to play with him. And I love my dog. I will definitely play with him when the time is right. But right now is not that time. And probably after I record this episode and get it off the editing, I'll probably go ahead and play with him. So if you hear any weird sounds, it's him trying to get me to play with him. And we have a special day. It's the summer races. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we all know that. In full swing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Now, we have a horse. If we choose to, we can totally go ahead and enter the horse. However, I'm not going to do that because our horse is great. She is. It's, it's, it's a girl. But I'm not confident playing the game with the racing. I mean, don't get me wrong, getting the event was hard, but when recording it, that seems a little, I don't know, that's a, that's a big role you guys are asking of me. And I'd rather train first and be guaranteed that I can win instead of like going ahead and trying. Which I guess in that case, I should really just try instead of being pansy, but I am pansy. Welcome to Pansy R Us. May I help you today? Silly horse. But yeah, once again, if you end up hearing some strange sounds, it's my, it's my puppy. Oh, I'm not even touching you. There we go. Here we go. Sidrick. No, not her. No, not her. Here we go. Really cute. Like I keep accidentally hitting R2 and all these other items and all these other buttons because I keep playing um, Save the Homeland on the PS2. Like, the controls are so different, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it definitely gets confusing. Like, I just kept trying to hit R1 over and over again to get to the tool I want. I don't know how I stay on top of it. It's hard. Very, very hard. There we go. Let's go take care of these guys. And, man, I was not looking forward to watering again. I mean, it's not that that, that big of a deal here compared to what it is in the Homeland. I have all eight of my plots filled, and it's annoying me. Like, when the rainy season come, came, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah! And to this day, I still can't, well, to the day I'm recording this, I still have yet to activate Kurt's, um, Kurt and Joe's event, the fish, and it's bothering me. I I usually don't refer to guides, oh, I was supposed to I was out. But I usually don't refer to guides when there's a game I actually know how to play, but I actually have been go to the guides multiple times on different sites, hoping to figure out an answer. And I remember in the last video, I mentioned that there was a cutscene between Kurt coming to you and finding out that the uh, the fish shows up at a certain time. And I'm starting to think that that's not true, which is weird because in my mind, in my brain, from when I was a kid, I remember that happening. So, I'm gonna have to, for once, I'm gonna follow their guide and just give Kurt tomatoes for a week. Because I could have sworn I was good friends with him enough to just activate it. Apparently not. All those tomatoes I gave him meant nothing to him. Nothing! Which is disappointing. I mean, in the game, my fridge is full with like 99 of the items, so it's not a big deal. But still, the fact of the matter is, like, I gave you a lot of produce, man. I love you. Why would you just take my tomatoes and love me? And give me a fishing rod so I can catch this fish and prove that your brother's not as crazy as you think he is. I mean, he's pretty crazy. But that's why we care for him so much. Um, now, I really don't know if there's going to be, like, an event with the Harvest Goddess right now, but we're going to go find out. Because I looked at my notes and they didn't mention it. Like, I haven't known him, like, who the, the friend next. And all I see is Oriella and not the goddess. So we're going to have to go figure that one out. Worst comes to worst, I could just be wrong. It's bound to happen. Uh, oh, no. I was hoping a blueberry was ready. Oops. I'm surprised. Like, just before I started recording, my dog was just like whining and growling for me to play with him and now he's quiet and just looking at me. He's still standing near a toy, but 
I think he understands that he has to wait patiently. Oh, because there is no event. Oh, well. No big deal. We will gather this. Take that. And pick this up. And do that. And do this. And do that. Um, now, I think I might just cut the scenes involving the horse races. I already showed it once to you guys, and I you guys really don't need to see it again. I mean, if I was racing, I would show the entire race, but since I won't be, I'm just gonna cut out those parts, and, um, I won't warn when I'm cutting off. I'll probably just pick up the conversation as if I never stopped, but we all know that's not gonna happen. I don't know how to cut off that well. Not in, the, in terms of editing, but in terms of, like, speaking. Like, as if letting the flow of conversation happen, because I bet by the time that race is over, I'm going to forget what I said. My, it's more of a personal thing again. Like, I, I try not to speak about personal things, but it's nothing bad, but, you know, just to keep it distant, I guess. But my sister's in New York to visit the family for the Thanksgiving break, and I love it and I hate it when she disappears. I love it that when she you know, when she leaves, because then I can just sit up uh, um, sit up in her room all night playing video games, but I also hate it because I can stay up all night in her room playing video games and get nothing done. Like, I was playing Save the Homeland almost all day yesterday, um, last night, and I don't recall getting a lick of work done. Intuition, it says. Intuition. It bothers me that Tim looks that big. No. Oh, well, we have to move it, Tim! But it bothers me that Tim looks that small in his sprite. Like, not, not, not that small, not that big in his sprite. Like, it's bothering me. He looks so huge. I remember. Long before I played this game, seeing a cutscene of the of the bad ending, and compared to everyone else, he's just a giant. And I was thinking, like, why? Look at the little crabby, <gasps> little crab, 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 crabby. I wish I could pick you up. I wish I could pick this up. I don't know what that is, but it bothers me. Mm -hmm. Things over here too. Even the coconut. The coconut. You put the line and the coconut. Every time I think of coconut, I think of that song. Oh boy. You know, now that I think about it, it's kind of weird that I'm talking about Thanksgiving when we're almost at Christmas. I hope you guys are all excited for it. If you guys can celebrate that holiday, I hope you guys are enjoying whatever holiday you guys are going to be celebrating. Yeah. Gotta be. Oh my. So does that, does that mean I go in at 2? What are we gonna do? This is a weird- and then I look at it, this is a weird pattern for a square. Follow the red brick road. 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 The red brick road. And there's Funland's beautiful sign. Ugh. This was a waste of my time. I should have just went fishing. Then again, every time the horse races come around, I always lose track of time of like when I'm supposed to be there, when I'm not supposed to be there. So I always like to hover around and just BS until we figure out. And I was gonna get X Pad. Oh, let's see. Oh, I guess it is too fun. I was gonna get X Pad to make the videos easier, and then I realized it was $9.99. Now, if you pay for it, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna judge you, but I can't spend. Um, ten dollars on a program that I really don't need. Like, yes, it would be nice to be able to move my camera in um, in this game, but I don't need it. It's not a big deal, but it would have been nice. I'm sorry. I just I I'm sure XPad would have made my life easier, but I can't spend nine dollars and ninety nine cents around Christmas time for something that's not really important to my controller. Well, it's important. You guys know what I meant. But yeah. So maybe I'll find an alternative, maybe I'll just suffer. I'm not really suffering, but like, it would be easier. That's it. 
And it's right now it's just medium. It's not a big deal. Okay, horse races. Let's see here. I would like to place a bet in the horse. Now, the last time I did this, I'm gonna get no, no. Yeah, that sounds. Um. Hmm. Nope, I got rain. We'll put five. Oh, what? Can I do multiple horses? Basically, it's all on that thing. Um, I'm gonna put my medals on. Nope, wait. Oh, Son of a. Oh no! I'm really bad at this. I'm gonna put five on Athena and hope for the best. Alright, we'll see you guys in just a little bit. So I apparently got something from that race. Um, uh, Athena did in who, wait, who did I, wait, who did I, who did I bet on? I think I bet on Blaze. So Blaze won, so I got like 20 points from that. That was fun. Alright, next up is another race. Let's play some more bets on a horse. Um, you can't go wrong with a horse named Hermes. Well, Thunder and Hermes. Um, I think these horses were here last time too, though. So, um... We're gonna go... No, we have 35. Crazy? But no, um... Let's, let's give Hermes a try. Yeah. Alright, guys. I'll see you in a little bit again. Sorry. Never trust a horse named Hermes. I changed my mind. Never trust a horse like that. Never, ever, ever, ever. It was, he came in third, and I was, like, I can't tell the difference with these horses. I can't. Uh, yes, I like to play Spet. Uh, Macadamia. But Clifford, Clifford the big red dog. Macadamia and Garbanzola. Well, my luck, Shadow would win. Uh, I don't remember. You know what? I'm going to take a bet. Nobody will let us. Um, see, I gotta remember these. It's one, two, three, and four. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and make a bet on Clifford and hope for the best. Yep. All right. I'll see you guys in another little bit. Hopefully, we'll win. Yay! ready to punch myself in the face. I'm watching the races and I'm thinking and it took for a moment when it first started I was thinking oh wait which one's my horse again? Which one did I bet on? And then I realized okay it was number two. That much I remember. And I'm seeing them race and I'm like oh oh no because like they're running and they're running and I realized that number one is really close to winning. I'm like oh if I find out I bet on the wrong horse I'm gonna be disappointed. But no Clifford won. And but Shadow was really close. I mean, if he won, I would have been very disappointed, but... We can get Lumber. Usually cannot be sold. I want some. But... I hate how uneven that is. It's great for presents, but who would like it? More no seats. These are actually really good. For the horse race, so I'm actually gonna spend. No, that's 13. That's, I'm gonna get like three of them. I want three of those. 
and we're gonna spend the rest on lumber and no and an egg but you can get eggs all the time I know but I might as well just get them off so that means now we can actually upgrade a lot of our places and um a lot of our stuff and uh, so we're, and the, I'm having a brain fart, guys. We can upgrade, like, the house. We can upgrade the barn and the chicken coop, which is what we wanted to do anyway, without the wear and tear of, like, constantly going to, like, the lumber yard and not... Don't eat that. I'm sorry. My cat was trying to eat a glove. No, go away. Stop that. No, stop that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop. She's crazy, guys. She's absolutely bonkers. There we go. Got her down. And bothered my dog in the process. Okay, so we're gonna wait for Pontus to show up, because I'm pretty sure he will. And we have a whole bunch of goodies for him, and we're gonna call this episode at night. It's gonna be a lot shorter than the, our usual episode, which is really great. But then again, that is because of the, um, the horse races. So with me cutting out the actual race, maybe... I'll keep the one with Clifford so you guys could be in just as much anticipation as I am. But once again, that's a that's a possibility. If you see it by the time you hear this part, then I hope you guys were excited. Ooh. I was. Ooh. That's a sardine! Okay, let's see if Oh, where is he? If he doesn't show up by six, I'll probably go to uh um. Mm, mm, the lake. Here we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had such a terrible brain fart. But yeah, if he's not around by six, we'll go ahead and just. Um, this seems like it's gonna be a big fish. We'll go ahead and just go to the lake. If he's not there, then we'll just call it quits. Take my bait. Oh, I should have bought some. Ooh. 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 Yeah. You weren't worth my time at all. Alright, pause is not here, so we're gonna take a quick check at the lake, and I just bit my tongue. That was fun. Ooh, boy. If it's not the lake, we'll just do it another time. Maybe he doesn't show up during rainy days and festivals. Which would make sense. But in any case, he's a tanuki. Why would he care? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fill up this empty gap, but I really have nothing to say because it's the end. I mean... I could just start saying my goodbyes, but I usually like to say those all the way to the end. I don't see him. I'm not gonna wait. Oh, is anyone even open? Nope. I always hated that feature. Like, you know, you, I, I always hated the idea that you couldn't see villagers until, like, during the festival, unless you're at the actual festival. I hated that idea. I always did. But I'm glad that in, like, a New Beginning, and Tale of Two Towns, and Story of Seasons, that's not the case anymore. You can actually see them and talk to them before the festivals. And I want to say Grand Bazaar, but I actually haven't played that game that much. I should probably pick it up again, because I'm forgetting where the heck I was in it. In many of my Harvest Moon Story of Seasons games, I'm really lost in where I was. I might restart Story of Seasons, because, yeah, I just might. Alright, so we're gonna cut this episode to a close. We got so much lumber, we're like rolling in it, and I would upgrade something. Um, I would upgrade something tomorrow in the game, but the store, the shop's gonna be closed. The carpentry shop will be closed on that day, so it's not, I'm not gonna waste it. And now I got the Panara roots to, um, Robin! Sorry, he was in something, but the, the Pantata roots, I got those because they're actually really helpful with the horse race. They're the best thing you can have for, like, you know, racing your horse and all that. 
And um, that's pretty much it. So we'll upgrade when we can. We have the money. We can totally do it. And we can just get it back. And that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you guys. And I'll see you next time. See you later.